guess who's back? Five-star tight end Landon Thomas just announced he is flipping his commitment from Georgia to Florida State. Yes, tight end committed to the Georgia Bulldogs, his flip to FSU. I'll get into why that makes more sense here in a minute. But first, Thomas is the number one ranked tight end in the country. He's from Colquitt County High School in Moultrie County, Georgia. And this is a huge pickup for the Seminoles. They started the day ranked number nine in the on three industry team rankings, and they make a big jump to number five. They have currently a top five class. And the Seminoles have been searching for a tight end since Mike Norvell arrived in Tallahassee. Trust me, I used to cover FSU, and they signed a bunch of them. Now, they all worked really hard, but bless their hearts, they really didn't work out. And Landon Thomas brings what Mike Norvell has been looking for, and that's versatility at the position. He's six foot four, 230 pounds. He's a pass catcher. He's a mismatch, and he is a devastating blocker as well. Florida State plays a physical run game and a physical offense, but they need those pass catching tight ends, and Florida State just has hasn't had playmakers like Landon Thomas at the position. Now, here's why this makes a little bit more sense. Thomas was originally committed to FSU back in the summer of 2021. That's a long time ago. It was about his heading into his sophomore year of high school. He opened things back up in October of that year. Florida State wasn't playing very well on the football field, and Landon Thomas, rightfully so, reopened his recruitment. He would commit to UGA in July of 2022. So last summer, Landon Thomas committed to Georgia, and it's been about eight months. Now, during that time, what did Florida State do? They kept that relationship going. They never gave up, even when he flipped his commitment. It was a disappointment for FSU. And you look at Georgia and you say, well, they do the most with tight ends, so how are we going to get him back? Several visits to Florida State led Landon Thomas back to Tallahassee. Relationships end up winning out for the Seminoles, but they've still got to hold on. Thomas is the number one tight end in the nation. He's a five-star prospect, and Kirby Smart won't go down without a fight. There's no question they'll have an exciting offense, but what about FSU? I think they have a shot at having a very exciting offense this year as Jordan Travis returns, and Florida State hopes to build on what they did last year when they won 10 games. So FSU currently sits number five in the on three industry team rankings, and I don't think they're done yet. But look at what they've done on the offensive side of the ball now. You have Luke Cromenhawk in as your quarterback. Cam Davis, one of the top running backs in the country at running back. Four wide receiver commitments to add now to the number one tight end in the country, Landon Thomas. So let's see what Florida State has heading into the summer months. We know they're hot. And the summer's going to be much hotter, so stay tuned to On3 for all your latest recruiting developments. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. And remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.